Hello folks, I am back. And I am a big uh, muscle car fan, so I do like the Dodge uh, vehicles, especially the Dodge, Dodge uh, Charger and Challenger. But they do have a spec level that, um, that I kind of like. It's called the RT version. Now the RT version is a step up from the two versions um, below that, that uh, in their baseline. And with that, it has decent performance, great looks, and it's, like I said, it's a step up with a different performance level. But sometimes you want to step up even further with the uh, Charger and Challenger. Uh, so they come out with the Hellcat version or the Super B version. That version is already set from the manufacturer, already stocked with great horsepower. I, I mean, it's the works. But you get that from the manufacturer with all those amenities on there. But sometimes you want to do something a little different. You want to make a little bit of your own creation. And so that's when you send your vehicle to West Coast Customs, if you remember that show. So with that, you have your own type of vehicle. And I know I'm talking about vehicles, but I just wanted to make a comparison to what I did with my Cajun Gunworks CZ SP01 Tactical Urban Gray. Yes, that was a mouthful. All right. Um, I, I had this um, firearm for quite some time, and I decided to uh, do some of my own upgrading. I do watch um, uh, Big Johnson Guns and Gears uh, videos, and I love what he has done with uh, with his uh, firearms video, so I figured I would take a shot at it myself and have my own little creation. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do with this firearm was I did not like uh, the double action pull on that, uh, on this particular firearm. And I had no problem with the regular SP-01 but the regular SP-01 is the safety version, and I have no problems with that in double action. To me, it's very smooth. Um, but when you're dealing with uh, anything that has a decocker on it, unfortunately, there is a little bit more grid, a little bit tough, uh, tough pull in the double action mode. Uh, so, And that's because you have a lot of mechanisms that are internally inside that make this... Uh, make uh, your double action pull uh, very hard. And like, just to give you an example, uh, this was a 10 pound pull, but it was a 10 pound pull that was not smooth as the 10 pound pull on this particular firearm. And it all has to do with the, um, the mechanics that are inside the firearm itself. So I'm going to explain what I did here. I, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty much a minimalist. So I, I didn't want too much uh, going on. So under the hood, what I did was I, I sent this to Cajun Gunworks and they put in what they call their CZ75 Series Pro Package. Uh, what that includes is that it has, it, it changes the hammer spring rate. They even changed out the, the regular hammer. I had the round combat hammered like it is on the SP-01 here. And they did some other internal uh, changes, such as the uh, recoil spring is t is different. Usually, it comes with a, fl a flat recoil spring. Uh, I, however, did not uh, put in the, change the um, uh, the recoil guide uh, guide rod. I probably should have done that, but it seems to be functioning very fine without it. This is the stock um, guide rod. Uh, what you and one of the first things that you're noticing right away is the Cerakote job. The Cerakote job was done by CZ uh, Customs, and I wanted something a little different. I didn't want something too loud, or like I said, I'm a minimalist. So uh, this is the uh, tactical urban gray color. So this is really the base color that's on here. So what they did was they put it. Um, they I asked for this particular. Uh, slide in like a camo look. So I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see uh, how this looks uh, with with its color. And I pretty much like what they did with this. It's not overly done, 
or anything like that. And that, and I really think it matches up very well. I like the color. I like how everything matches up. And that Cerakote job is really done very well. Uh, one of the other things that uh, I, well, I did mention that there was some, a lot of the internal work that was done in here. Uh, because that pro package that they put um, that they put inside here has a lifetime guarantee for the original owner. Uh, so they did their magic by uh, taking some pins, the triggers out. And this is a different type, different trigger. If you notice that the trigger here, and I'm going to pull out the SP01. This is the original trigger that's on this um SP01 Tactical, because they all come with this particular style trigger. Uh, a lot of people don't like the hook on that trigger, so this is a pretty much a, a decent compromise with this style trigger. It kind of has a flat type uh, situation going on here. It's it's curved, but it, to me, it kind of reminds me of like a flat trigger, but not so much like a real a flat trigger. It has a better uh, pull, better grip. Um, better grip for your finger. So it makes helps you get those shots off. And as you see here, there's a spot to adjust it right here. If, I don't know if you could see that, but it's right there. Uh, um, one of the other things is I pretty much like the stock grips that are on here. Uh, I like them on the SPO one as well as on this. And I like the way this rubberized grip is. A lot of people don't like it. Um, but I tend to really like that grip, especially it's got that little home for a good grip having your thumb right here. Uh, and it's the same thing that is on the standard SP01. Uh, one of the other things is at, you notice uh, right um, well, let me get right to it. You notice right away on the front side. The, now, the... Tactical version already have high suppressor height sights, and they were a little a little unique. But this particular one, they replaced it with one that that has trinium in it, so you do have that glow in the dark uh, sight, so you can see at night to shoot or low light conditions. Uh, now, one of the other things is it's really. A lot of uh, a lot of people are going to ask me when they see this video why a vortex venom. Well, the vortex venom uh, right here, I had this already, you know, so I didn't want to buy another one. It was an extra one that I had laying around the house, so I decided to use it. I'm very um, a big fan of the vortex venom because it's a it's sold at a very economical price, and it's really a basic red dot there's no nothing special about it like uh like a holosan or or uh rmrs or anything like that this is a really decent site just for something basic and it one of the other things is uh the vortex has a lifetime warranty as well if you have any problems with it it can be replaced uh now the reason why I brought this up is because if you notice, there is no rear sight. Now, the rear sight was removed. I talked to Cajun Gunworks because I asked them, could I have a, a rear backup sight? And they said due to the construction of the firearm, the mechanics involved, that they would basically have to uh, do away with that rear sight. But one of the good parts about the Vortex Venom is you can see that there are these two little lines here that can also act as a guide for a rear sight. Some people have the uh, the rear um, blacked out sights, or some people will have the the dot sights. Now, it, as you see, if you look through, if you look at the back here, and if you look toward the front, you can still see that high vis uh, front sight there. Uh, I really had no problems uh, lining up this site. W what I did was did a, a little experiment was I cut the dot off and see how accurate I could be without the dot on and worrying about with the front sight without a total co-witness, so to speak, with the rear sight. So I just lined it up perfectly and my shots were pretty, uh, were pretty much dead on. I've done that also with my... Um, 
Glock 41 MOS, and I don't have any suppressor height sights on, on that particular firearm. But on this firearm, it seems um, they're like there's no problem. One of the other things is this trigger pull. This trigger pull is really, really outstanding. Um, you would expect that from Cajun Gunworks, period. Uh, I'm going to give you this, uh, show you the certification card here. This is the from Cajun Gunworks. And, and the person that worked on this firearm from day one with me is Scott. Scott is a really nice guy. I spoke with him via email twice or three times and then contact, and then talked with him verbally on the phone. So Scott uh, verified that the double action pull, as you see here, is 7.4 pounds versus the 10 pounds that was here. And the single action is 3.5 pounds versus maybe, I believe, the 8 pound, 7 or 8 pounds that this firearm had. And that is a significant um, drop in poundage. And not only that, it is very, very smooth. Um, I failed to mention in the beginning of my video that uh, all these guns are unloaded and are safe. I failed to mention that because there are a lot of uh, YouTube police are out there checking videos. But uh, just to let you know, I have already checked all these firearms. And I'm going to prove that right now before the YouTube police put me in YouTube jail. And as you see, it is empty. So I'm going to let you see the double action pull. The double action pull is extremely sm smooth. You just get that little bit of take up right there. That's the little bit of take up right there. And you pull. That was it. Let me try to demonstrate that again. Look And... And the reason why there was a little bit of take up, I don't know if you notice, is I decock this. And that's when you decock this firearm like this, you'll see the hammer goes back in what they call like a semi cock motion. So that's why there was this little bit of take up here. And you pull, and that is very smooth right there. Now, now that the hammer is fully uh, in the down position, now let's see the trigger pull here, and it's smooth. Now I'm gonna do that a little slower. You, it's it's firm right here. You hear that click, and you pull back smooth, and then that's it. There's no, in my opinion, there's some people who call that stacking or in or something like that. Um, to me, that's not really a stacking uh, thing right there. It's just a pull, and then there's a click. And then there's solid right there. Uh, now, let's try with the single action pull right here. It's a slight take up right here. Slight take up. And there's a little pull right there. There's a little bit of a gap right there. If you see, um, that's what I consider the wall. And move it further. And then right there. And then there is there is going to be a click right there. So this trigger is a really nice trigger in single action as well in double action. Uh, one of the other things I like about the trigger, it it's, makes me look better than what I am uh, when I'm shooting on this range. Um, one of the things is uh, people are going to ask me, how does it compare to this one, this is the SP01 uh, Shadow, and this is the Custom Shop version, it's pretty much in the same realm. At, right there. It's pretty much in the same realm. You let it out, and then you pull. Not a problem. So, is one better than the other? I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to say that one is better than the other. I just like what Cajun Gunworks has uh, done with this particular firearm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some targets. So I'm going to move, th uh, move these out of the way real quick. Okay, and I'm going to show you these targets. Uh, these were the first shots from this firearm. This is at uh, roughly about 7 to 10 yards. I was playing around with the distance. And here you go. These were my first shots. 
at seven to 10 yards. Put it at seven at first to gauge where my sight was at. And I, I shot maybe three more, and then I pushed it out to 10 yards. As you see, these uh, right here, those are my mistakes. Uh, as I was gripping the, uh, trying to readjust my grip, that was my fault. And the, these were in single action. The sing, uh, these were in single action, and uh, I, for some reason, I adjusted my grip wrong. The first shot uh, with this was right here. It hit right there. Really surprised me at that point. Uh, going to another target. Let me show you this. This is me pushing it out to 10 to 15 yards. Now, all my shots were in. My first miss was, I believe it was this one. My first miss was right here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how I messed that up. And it, it all has to do with your grip. So I was do, doing something stupid. So that's what happened there. As I was sending out my targets further, uh, I was getting dead on and then I moved it down maybe to 13 yards. And then I got a little sloppy because I wanted to shoot a little faster. So then I got these two here, here, and I really went off here and here. But for the most part, that this firearm was very accurate. All I have to do is do my part, and then I would get everything right like it should be. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to say is I really like this firearm. This is my first uh like I said, quote unquote, customized or firearm that was sent away to have some work done on it. And I'm really happy with Cajun Gunworks. I, um, I, I, oh, I forgot to mention the turnaround time because a lot of people are going to ask me to turn around time. Uh, because of the pandemic, um, I contacted Cajun Gunworks in March. So they had a hold. So they put me on a list. And in May, they contacted me to send in my firearm. And as you see, this is October. And I just got the firearm back today at being that it is, uh, I forget the date now, what we're on. I'm getting a brain fart. But yes, October is at, at the time we are filming this. So uh, I really like the firearm. Is it worth it? And a lot of people are going to ask, is it worth it? If you have your a regular SPO1 uh, safety version or SPO1 tactical or any of the CZ variants, I highly recommend that you send these into uh, the Cajun Gunworks, let them ha uh, do their magic on it, and you won't regret it. Uh, a, one other factor I forgot to mention about the, uh, the site here, uh, Cajun Gunworks uh, has two sight planes that they use. Uh, one is for the Vortex Venom and the other one is for the RMR. As far as Holosan goes, I don't know if they're going to do that in the future. Maybe they change since I've uh, submitted my firearm. But those are the two uh, cuts that they do for uh, do for this, um, do for their work. So it would be the Vortex um, sites or the RMRs. All right, this video is long enough. I'm sorry that I made this too long, but I'm just really happy about this firearm. So with that said, uh, happy shooting, stay safe, hashtag 2A.